Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself uh, the remaining time. Gentleman's recognized. I just want to commend Congresswoman Katie Porter for constantly coming up with innovative approaches to the mental health and the, and the opioid crisis. I see this over and over again on her part. Uh, look, the bottom line is local governments need support. These types of specialized mental health response units that, that she's put together as part of this bill and with grant funding, uh, this isn't going to happen unless the federal government provides this kind of funding and authorization for these programs. I know locally in New Jersey it will not happen unless we do something and provide these types of grants. And it, it does disturb me that the Republicans keep trying to politicize uh, this because I know that on our committee and most of the speakers uh, on the other side are on our committee, on the Energy and Commerce Committee, we've worked hard to come together in a bipartisan way to try to come up with innovative approaches to the behavioral health crisis. We, we did a, a, a bill that passed the House 404 to 20 just a, a few months ago that helps uh, help for mental health and, and well-being. Uh, that has uh, ways of trying to deal with this crisis. Um, and I just think that um, she should be, Katie Porter should be commended for coming up with uh, another creative and innovative approach of trying to deal with this. Uh, every day we know that the crisis is there and we have to, at a federal level, respond to it. And this bill will go very far, in my opinion, towards responding to that crisis. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I would urge everyone to support this bill on both sides of the aisle, uh, and I yield back.